Exodus chapter 1, verses 8, 11, 13, and 14. Now there arose a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. Therefore, they set taskmasters over them to afflict them with heavy burdens. They built for Pharaoh store cities, Python and Ramses. So they ruthlessly made the people of Israel work as slaves and made their lives bitter with hard service in mortar and brick and in all kinds of work in the field. In all their work, they ruthlessly made them work as slaves. So the Israelites went down to Egypt because there was famine in the land of their promise. Having gone to Egypt at a time when one of Jacob's descendants, Joseph, was of course prime minister of the land and well favored, they were given the best part of Egypt to live. So they were allowed to go into Goshen, into Ramesses, and they dwelt there. And life was good. They were enjoying themselves. They got comfortable. They expanded. They were respected because of Joseph. All was well. After a while, no one was talking about the land, their land that they had left, their land that they had given up. The scriptures tell us that even after a while, they started expanding so much that it got narrow in Goshen. In other words, Goshen was becoming overpopulated. But guess what? They found ways to make themselves fit because Goshen was a wonderful place. They were in the superpower of the world and they were in the best part of the superpower of the world. They forgot their promise. They forgot their purpose. But God says, I will not allow you to forget your promise forever. So, what did God do? He disrupted their life and disrupted their comfort. There arose a king who did not know Joseph. A king who had no regard for the history of what Joseph had done for Egypt. A king who saw them as a threat and decided that he would ensure that they were brought down they could not expand any further that they would have trouble so they were enslaved and treated harshly until it got to the point where even their young males the baby boys were killed the midwives were told to kill them and those who wouldn't kill them they said well throw them in the nile at the end of the day Israel went through such hardship until they cried out and said, Lord, we cannot take it any longer. That's what God wanted. He wanted them to remember that this was not the promise. Are we getting comfortable in a place that's not what God called us to. Are we getting comfortable in a break or a rest period? Are we forgetting what our true purpose is? Do you remember that vision he gave you? Do you remember that fire that burned in your belly to go and accomplish this? Are we getting too comfortable, too complacent? 
I encourage us. Let us remember our promise. Remember our purpose. Find back the root to the purpose. Don't allow God to have to disrupt your comfort, to get your attention. And if it is already being disrupted, stop and check. You may be rebuking the devil when indeed it is God trying to get you back in line. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.